Do you guys know about Universal Studios? What is it? Where is it? And why should you go? Stay with us and we'll find out. Hey guys, it's Mark here from Wondervolt, the place where we unlock the geek universe, share our insider tips, reviews, and our collectibles. And today, we're talking about Universal Studios. What is Universal Studios? Well, it is a fully functional film studio, operating primarily out of the Californian area. Um, it was originally opened in 1915 um, and produced films. Uh, you would have seen them, they're everywhere. But in 1964, they decided that they were going to start doing something else with it. And uh, they started doing studio tours, which then evolved into a fully functioning theme park. Over the years, it has grown and it has spread throughout the world. There are currently four in the world. There is one in Hollywood, one in Orlando, Florida, one in Singapore, and one in Japan. So, why would you go? Well, number one, there are some pretty cool rides. I mean, if you were into thrill-seeking rides like roller coasters, drop rides, adrenaline-filled rides, this is the place to go. If you're interested in the Los Angeles property, um, then the reason you go is not only will you get access to the theme park, but if you purchase another ticket, which is, uh, includes a, a studio tour, you can also get the chance to see some pretty big celebrities. And also get onto one of the sets of a functioning studio production. Both parks have the Harry Potter themed land within the parks, um, which is pretty good when it comes to, uh, you know, when you first walk into that Harry Potter world, uh, you get to really experience what it was like uh, in the films. Um, you get to try some butterbeer, which is quite tasty. Tip, the frozen one's much better than the other one. The frozen one's delicious. Um, you get to go and have uh, lunch at the Three Broomsticks. Uh, you get to have uh, go into Ollivanders and get to wishy-washy with your wandy. It is a great experience and it is well worth the trip, if, even if you're just going to go and see this uh, part of the park. My family and I, we've been on to both parks, the one in Hollywood and the one in Orlando. And we think that the one in Orlando is probably the better of the two. When it comes to taking families with small children, um, we found that the Universal Studios Los Angeles was very limited in what they had available for small kids. Uh, really, there was one ride. Universal Studios Orlando, on the other hand, um, has a lot more uh, child-friendly activities. Not only is there rides, but there's also uh, Dinosaur Digs, there's uh, Dr. Seuss Land, where there's the Seuss School roller coaster thingy, but Bobby, yeah, there's a lot of extra things at Universal Studios Orlando, uh, which I think are a big plus in my book. When it comes to the adult side of things, though, the thrill-seeking side, the roller coaster side, Universal Orlando has a lot more variety. They've got the Hulk Rock. They've got uh, Jurassic Park, it's, which is one of my favorites. So, 
Universal Studios Orlando. Let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, there's two parks. There's Adventure Island and the Universal Studios original park in Orlando. Now, yes, there is a lot more to do, but it's a bit more expensive. You gotta buy two park tickets. If you're gonna try and do both on the same day, then you're gonna have to probably purchase the Express Pass, which is not cheap. So what is a, uh, an Express Pass? Well, similar to Disney, it is a pass that allows you to skip the long queues, get to the front of the line, but one difference, you have to pay for it at Universal. And you're willing to spend a few days there, then I would recommend uh, looking into one of the hotel options uh, that are at Universal Studios because sometimes the Express Pass is included in the price. So, is it worth going to Universal Studios? If you're talking about Orlando, I really do think it is worth it. There is enough variety at that park to really keep you going for a couple of days. There is the Simpsons Land, which is similar to the Los Angeles one, but you've also got the Island of Adventure, which has the Hulk ride and all the uh, Marvel sort of rides, the Spider-Man, the Transformers as well is there. Um, there is a lot of extra rides and, and more enjoyable thrill-seeking rides at Universal Studios Orlando. One thing is though, it is a bit more expensive, but I do think that it is a must see when you are there just to get that little bit of movie magic um, that Universal Studios offers. So, Universal Studios Los Angeles, is it worth going to that park? I really don't think so. Not at this stage, not without a serious upgrade to the rides it's got. I mean, it's got some pretty dated stuff like The Mummy, Men in Black, and whatever else is there it just for us it was not worth the effort um, so I probably won't be going back to that park again soon until they get a serious upgrade to the attractions at that park I am definitely going to be returning to Universal Orlando especially on my next visit I mean you can't really go to Florida without visiting Universal and when we go I'll definitely be taking uh, some video of what's there and sharing it with you guys when we come back. Um, so if you want to see that and you, ha and you want to see us go on uh, this trip to Universal, please give us a like, give us a subscribe and drop a comment in the, in the bit below and give us some feedback on what you want to see and what you would like us to film next time we go. All right, so come back soon and join us again on Wonder Vault. Yeah.